it's no secret that Fuse Audio Labs is one of my favorite plugin developers. Their plugins are fun, unique, affordable, and downright colorful, both visually and musically. And the owner, Ray, is a gifted engineer and just an all-around nice guy. So when he dropped new Dozer Drive, a fuzz overdrive emulation with a few tricks up his sleeve, I knew I had to take it for a spin. So without further ado, let's find out if the new Dozer Drive is something that you should spend your Doge coins on. All right, so I went ahead and got Dozer Drive all loaded up on a very simple rhythm guitar track, and I'm feeding it into a stereo guitar amp emulation, two Fender 59 tweeds with a noise gate, a gain booster, and some fun delay and reverb. Pretty much a, a good pedal platform. So let's hear it first, uh, just with everything bypassed. Pretty simple, okay? Now let's go ahead and loop it and start playing with some of the settings and take a look around the new Dozer Drive. So this is the fuzz. And then we'll hear the screamer. All right. Now let's play with some of the settings in the fuzz. Let's add a little drive here. There's a lot of play in this knob. And there's also the NPN and PNP transistor. Kind of hear the difference there. Especially at higher volumes. And then this Doom mod. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Very nice. So, next we have the Screamer. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. And that fat mod. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's... That's crunchy. Nice. All right. Now, what makes this very cool is that it is a, both a combination fuzz and a screamer. And that's what all these middle controls here do. Uh, you've got this mix knob. So whenever both of them are turned on and it's in the parallel setting, you can mess with this mix. So you can make it, you know, let's say, for example, three quarters fuzz and, and one quarter screamer. or the opposite of that. And it's infinitely variable in between there. That's very cool. And then you can hear what it sounds like when it's the fuzz going into the screamer, or you can hear what it's like with the screamer going into the fuzz. This looks like it's going to be just a whole hell of a lot of fun to play around in. Uh, in terms of looks, everything's right there where you can find it. Uh, it's an attractive looking plug-in. I can see that they use the same, uh, uh, that same brown wood background that they used in, uh, in the other pedal plug-in that they came out with uh, a few months back. Uh, very cool. I love the, the aged finish of this blue and orange pedal. Very nice. Um, so I, I can't wait to get it started. So let's go ahead and turn it on and crank it up. Thank you. 
So from a features perspective, you absolutely can't go wrong with Dozer Drive. You get a faithful Dallas Arbiter fuzz face emulation with the Doom Mod switch and that transformer swap. And then the Tube Screamer effect is fantastic with accurate tone response and a very cool fat mod to add some meat. What really makes this an awesome plug-in full of unique tones, however, are the routing options. The parallel routing with the mix knob gives you a ton of tonal possibilities with just a few flips of a switch and twists of a knob, so it's a solid five stars for features. And then in terms of usability, there were <laughs> absolutely no surprises. I uh, had a blast playing with Dozer Drive. It's great on guitars, it's great on bass, and you can dial in tones all the way from subtle to raunchy to downright clipping, but with that Fuse Audio warmth that I'm used to from their other plugins. So again, an easy five stars for usability. And then our final measure, value. What else could I say? It's 19 bucks. That's more than fair for just one of those two pedal emulations alone. So it's an easy five stars for value, making this yet another five star overall plugin from Fuse Audio Labs. If you're amping guitars in the box, it will give you tones that you just can't get from the high end amp and effect suites because of the cool mod options and that parallel mixing feature. So I fully recommend it. I also recommend that if you're trying to start a home studio and want some step-by-step -step advice, hit up the link in the description below where I have a free guide. Also, apparently I'm supposed to ask you to subscribe, so do that if you feel like it. Apparently that helps, you know, you see more of my videos in the future. So, thanks for jamming with me today, and have a great day in your home studio today.